Hey, what's up DIYers? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking ceiling vents and we have a ceiling vent that will not open or close. And in today's video, we're gonna try to get it fixed. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers downstairs in the basement now and behind our little bar area, we have a overhead vent. Right now it's summertime and it stays pretty cool down here in the summer because again, it is a basement. And the last thing we want is air conditioned air coming out of that vent. And as you can see, it does not fully close. Some vent blades close, some do not. On the opposite side of the year when it's winter time and we want heat coming out of this vent, unfortunately, not all vent blades open to allow heat to properly come out. So let's go ahead and remove that, take it to our local Lowe's or Home Depot, match it up and get it replaced. Up on a ladder now and it looks like one is a quarter inch screw and the other a Phillips screw. And usually that is not by design, but there's the tools we're gonna use. To remove it cover panel is removed just be advised you may have dirt dust or maybe bugs fall when you remove that a couple things i want to show you as i was looking at this and as you move that little lever back and forth this little piece right here is supposed to be inside that hole so what i can do is realign these and shift this back into that hole that will fix this portion however the center portion here Notice on the back side, it is dented in. So when you try to close this, it's restricted. It will not fully close. So I may be able to get away with just using some pliers and bending that piece of metal back to alleviate it from hitting, as well as putting this back in place in that hole. What we'll do is carefully shift that little tab right here back into the little hole. And looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and test it. Okay, working a little better. The next thing, let's grab our pliers and bend that tab back into place. Pliers in hand, I'll go ahead and open the vent. And I just want to carefully bend that piece back in place. And it's pretty easy to move. And just do your best to not break it as you do this. Now let's test it. And that works 100% better. Look at that. You can see the DIY Raptor logo through the vent. And now you can't. Now you can. Now you can't. YouTubers, I think we got away with this pretty easy. We are not going to go to our local Lowe's or Home Depot to replace this in the event that you need to. All you have to do is take this whole piece, match it up, make sure you get the exact replacement part, bring it back home, and install it back in that ceiling. From here, I'll just reinstall this. Reinstalled, now giving it a full test run. Night and day difference, YouTubers. We got lucky again. We did not actually have to leave the house and go buy a new one. You may have to, but that's okay. From here, do us a favor. Below the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us and we would really appreciate it. And one more thing, in the event that you are in the market for some floating shelves, scrolling above is a link to a video that shows the step-by-step -step process on how to install shelves like these. We found these to be a perfect pick for us and it was less than $40 for all four shelves put together. Thanks again for watching.